What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to a freaking beautiful day in Pennsylvania. We're looking at clear 70 degree blue skies right now and it is a wonderful day of the vlog. We're gonna be revealing to you guys here very, very shortly, so you're not gonna wanna miss this, the new setup for Convict, which you probably already saw somewhat teased in the thumbnail. Let me just kind of tease you by saying this setup is with like six C's. I think seven might be a little inappropriate, but six is definitely like a really solid even number that would accurately describe the thickness of all six of these wheels and tires. 38 inch tires, boys. 13 and a half inches wide on a 24 inch black JTX forged wheel. But, 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 before we get to that, I just gotta tell you guys some really important information. First thing being, a Cedar of California will be out this week to pick up Del Monaco. So let's just all take a minute to really appreciate this beautiful limited fifth gen Cummins that's soon to be headed out west. Every single one of the giveaway trucks that we've given away is so special and unique in and of its own way. This one's special because it is the first truck to go out to California and it is also the first truck at the same time to head out west. You cannot get any more west than Cali. It's just that this one's not going to be in the sun of Cali. Rather, it's going to be in the forest of Cali as it's going to be residing just south of the Redwood Forest. Kind of a cool little farewell seeing that Delmonico is red and it's gonna be chilling in the Redwood Forest. Ticket item number two is the fact that Dream Diesel giveaway number 17. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, number 17 is soon to be launching April 6, 2021. It is truly our biggest giveaway we've ever done in the history of enthusiasts over the last two years of giving away trucks and four years as a company. We are so excited about rolling out this information. You are not going to wanna miss it by any means. You'll see why when it launches. Also, just a small little teaser and inclination. We are really excited about some changes that we are making to the forward-facing website the whole storefront is going to change and we've got so many sick new things that are coming to the brand I can't really tell you guys exactly what quite yet But I'm really looking forward to sharing them all with you as I've been putting in lots of work behind the scenes off camera To really take things up multiple notches. So just as a little forewarning guys We are not gonna be really leaving the homestead today, which is kind of nice I love making videos up here and due to the fact that I wasn't able to turn my camera on as early as I was hoping that I would It's already three o'clock and I have to get my son from his babysitter at so boys and girls, without further ado, let's get right to the subject matter of the vlog, and that is revealing the JTX forged wheels on the 38 inch tires that have been sitting separately, but have finally accepted their oath as a couple and man, do they look good together. You guys are about to see just how massively thick these wheels are in comparison to the 315s that are on the truck right now. And the fact that boys, finally, we are making the upgrade to a super single Honor F450. You guys ready? I'm ready to show y'all. Bada bing, bada boom, my friends, take a look at the sneak peek of Convict V2, but this is just the beginning. Remember, this truck is going to receive a four and a half inch PMF powder coated to match lift kit with King shocks in the front and the back, King coilovers at front, and a whole slew of other beautifully fabricated suspension components that are all sitting at the shop right now. So we finally got the 38, 13, 5, 24 trail grapplers married up to the JTX forged wheels. And I had to see these things for myself sitting side by side. It's kind of a little awkward because my driveway is uneven. So one wheel sitting further forward than the other wheel, but it gives you a very good look at what these things are going to look like when they're mounted up under the back of that massive fender flare and that eight foot bed. Needless to say, the amount of thickness is pretty ridiculous. Here for conversation purposes is my iPhone. You can see just how much this setup dwarfs that standard iPhone size. This is not the plus size, but still regardless, it would dwarf it. So looking down into these wheels, we have a really unique, very simple dually design that I really, really like about these JTX Forge. A, it's very simple and I like simplicity. It is bliss, less is more. B, it's going to be very easy to clean just because it only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just because it has nine spokes. Now we've got the two inner wheels sitting married up next to one another, but this does give you a very good idea as to what they're going to look like behind the truck itself. But I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of just how big these things are, but I don't have my cameraman. So I'm gonna have the super single spot us real quick, just to give you a general idea as to how these things measure up against me being five foot 11 inches tall. They're literally at my waistline and they probably weigh just about as much as me in combination. It's pretty wide. So here you guys can see a quick little sneak peek of what the truck is gonna look like 
with black wheels on it. Who is in favor of this look over the polished wheels? Smash that thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Let me know if this is your preferred setup. You guys know, dating back to the OGs, I've always been a huge fan of a white truck with black wheels. I just have been. Since the beckoning of the dawn of my diesel enthusiast days, I'd always wanted a white truck with black wheels and that was the OG. I actually went through three setups on black wheels, a set of 12 wides, a set of 20 by 12s, a set of 22 by 12s, and then ultimately a 20, and then 22 by 14 but they were all black on white and I kind of missed having my go-to setup as my daily driver for a while. So I'm really excited to see these things sitting up next to that wheel well. It's going to fill out this whole section so well and it's just gonna make this thing look just in its own league, its own category, and it's going to be a very unique truck. I'm super, super excited about it. One thing that's really cool about the JTX Forge is they actually already come with billet center caps versus the American Forces that are plastic. Not that it's really any better by any means. If anything, it adds more rotating mass, but it's just kind of a cool element to see consistent machine manufacturing across the entire wheel versus just the wheel itself. Now, comparing these wheels to the American Forces, there's naturally not that much of a difference between the barrel depth of the JTX versus the barrel depth of the American American force they are all about the same it's more or less that now the 38 sits about two inches taller than the 36 that is this ridge grappler right here from a width perspective it's kind of hard to tell but the ridge grappler is actually a 12 and a half whereas the trail grappler is a 13 and a half the reason it's difficult to tell by the naked eye right now is because both of these wheels are just over eight inches wide for the dually setup itself you're going to notice a little bit more of a difference when the dualies are actually married together to the hub because there's a a little bit less room right there between the tires. Now that brings us up to the real big change, aside from the color of the tire size and the wheel design, and that is the style of our front wheel. We are transitioning away from the standard dually setup up front, although it looks amazing. You're gonna see it come back in a sort of indirect fashion once we get started on another build on the YouTube channel. So if you're gonna miss it, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned to see how exactly it's set up on the next truck. But that is our big old super single. It is just going to look so so perfect up front, sticking out just the littlest bit. Now this is a 12 wide, so naturally it is going to stick out more because of the fact that it has more offset and it's a wider wheel. The front dually wheel right now is the same width as the back wheels, which gives it that interchangeability, but the largest differences visually are gonna be observed by the fact that now we'll have some stance. So rather than the tire sticking out only about mm, two inches, it's probably gonna stick out about four inches because of the wheel manufacturing changes. Plus what'll be cool is this six to eight inch lip up front will somewhat marry up with the big old lip on the dualies in the rear, which will give a very nice visual aesthetic. Howdy, my farming neighbor. Thank you for all that you do in feeding America, my friend. Thing sounds kind of sick too, I'm not gonna lie. Sweet diesel. So again, kind of a little bit difficult, but at least it gives you a general idea because we won't be mounting the wheels on today. But I needed to see it just as much as, if not more than us seeing it together for the first time, which is right now. I'm so excited, guys. Here's another little angle for you. I wish that I could take that front wheel off right now to mount this one up, but I feel like the suspense that it's building is going to make it all the more worthwhile when we actually bolt these things up for the first time once the lift kit's been installed. We've just had so much stuff going on around here lately that it seems like a seven day week isn't even enough time for us to accomplish all the things that we wanna do and that we have going on around us. But I would say that's a very good problem to have. Now we're gonna quick flip on over to Jake. He's actually out handling some things with the L5P, AKA Lucifer and or the Cherry Max as we speak. Meanwhile. What's up guys? Today we are finally getting an alignment on this beast. But as some of you may know, these laser alignment machines have like little cups that go on these wheels. And uh, yeah, uh, we're definitely not putting those cups on our brandy spanking new polish on these wheels. Uh, definitely not. So we're gonna make a quick pit stop down at Lime Ridge. Stop in, grab a, a spare set of wheels that they have for us to throw on real quick. Then we're gonna pop on over to E-Town Auto Works and get this beast aligned, which it needs desperately because the guy that put the control arms on, he has those camber bolts so jacked up. Oh boy. I don't know who did that though. <sighs> That has to be one of the best sounding sounds in the world. Oh my gosh. Not only does this truck just absolutely look mind boggling, it sounds equally as good. Oh, and we can't forget to flex on everybody and maybe like throw some rock lights on.
We are riding around in style on these stock rims. Big shout out to Sam from Lime Ridge for uh, letting us borrow these for this alignment. Super satisfying feeling at the end of a build like this. Finally getting the last little touches all finished up. Just really brings everything to a close. It's a good feeling. Them stocks be looking fire. All right guys, we're here at E-Town. We got this thing all lined up. Nice and actually straight now. Probably a lot better riding wise, so I'm excited about that. But in here, in the bed of here, we got a, a special a, a special prize. That you... Okay, that's it, that's that's all you get to see. But shout out to Stefan, Super Duty Stefan, for picking me up and giving me a ride back here so I could come get the Denali, because I was a little stranded. So let's get back to Lime Ridge, get the wheels and tires mounted up. Well, get the cool wheels and tires mounted up, and then we'll be headed on our way back up to the shop. So that's where we're gonna wrap up this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for chilling with me in my driveway on an absolutely beautiful day. I'm grateful to have you along. If you're new to the YouTube channel, definitely consider subscribing. If you haven't tapped that like button down at the bottom right of the video, definitely consider doing so. I'd be very grateful for your contribution. Drop a comment below about how excited you are about Convict's new setup and stay tuned for April 6th. My friends, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you all in the next upload. Oh my God, it's windy out there. So this is the man. He's about to steal my truck right now. The whole surprise is about to go down. So little does Mike know, the one that subscribes to the YouTube channel. Has Mike is going to come out and surprise his girlfriend, but he's going to be equally as surprised himself because my F450 is going to be what Dave is in. What's up, brother? Mike, nice to meet you, man. It's a pleasure, dude. So Happy surprise, early birthday, brother. Surprise, surprise. Yep, absolutely. Well, she looks wild. I called her and she says, you're not going to believe this. Max Max truck just went by. <laughs> what? I said, you want to come out and sit in the big white truck? She goes, what? I don't have time all the time to do these things. I always get so many great emails from you guys, and I wish that I could respond to them all. I literally wish that I could shake every single one of your hands for the support, guys. It genuinely means that much to me. Unfortunately, I can't, but this happened to work out really well, and truly, I feel like it is the absolute least that I could do.